sharks not only vary externally, but internally as well. There are a number of variations in how female sharks reproduce. While ovaries are usually paired in female sharks, in some sharks these fuse to form a single ovary. Eggs can vary in size, especially in species where eggs are being used to nourish embryos and will not be fertilized in many cases. In some sharks, uh, the funnels of the oviducts may fuse or one of the two may become predominant. The shell gland can store sperm and is not as prominent in species uh, which undergo live birth. The uterine portions of the oviduct can fuse before joining the cloaca or empty separately. Some sharks are oviparous in that the eggs are released into the water and they hatch outside the body of the female. After the secondary oocyte uh, is released by the ovary and is taken up by the oviduct, it is then fertilized uh, by sperm in the oviduct. Sharks practice internal fertilization. There is a shell gland which can add a layer of albumin and mucus around the developing embryo forming the egg and the egg then passes through the distal end of the oviduct known as the uterus. Um, it fuses with the cloaca and passes out into the seawater where the egg hatches. Some sharks are ovoviviparous in that the young are born alive, but the female does not provide much nutrition. There is no placenta that forms. So instead, the eggs simply hatch inside the uterus, and then the young are subsequently born. Developing sharks can get their energy from various sources, from their own yolk sac, from yolk that develops in a distended stomach, from eggs which are produced from the ovaries but are not intended to be fertilized but instead are eaten by developing uh, pups, uh, by, cannibalistic, by cannibalistic infants which can actually feed on their siblings. And then finally some sharks are actually viviparous that they produce an actual placenta where maternal tissues then provide nourishment for the developing shark.